Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Agus. Today, uh, I would like to give the example of a process strategy and uh, operation management using crossover chart. The question is, uh, or the problem is the operation management of a shop of computer wants to make process strategy decision. There are two options of strategies in this case. The first strategy is to sell computer with its, uh, which is uh, built by the sales associates. The second uh, one is to hire a dedicated assembly technician. The first strategy has variable cost of 200 per computer and no fixed cost. The second strategy has a fixed cost of uh, 4,000 ringgit, but variable cost of only 20 ringgit per computer. The question is, the first draw or sketch crossover chart between the two process strategies, and then determine the crossover points. The solution, uh, so first we uh, make the uh, ordinate, yeah, uh, first axis, yeah, horizontal axis as a volume or number of computer, and the second is the uh, uh, y-axis as a uh, uh, illustrate the cost, yeah, in uh, ringgit Malaysia. And the first strategy, which is uh, the soft computer, uh, as to the uh, sales associate to build a computer when the order computer uh, received by the shop. Yeah. So in this case, uh, the equation, the, the total cost equal to the uh, fixed cost, there is no fixed cost, zero. And then uh, the uh, operational cost or variable cost, uh, 200 times uh, volume. Yeah. So this is, uh, uh, we pay the, Subcomputer will pay 200 ringgit per computer. So the uh, cost, uh, total cost is uh, 200 times volume. So from this, we can uh, have the uh, chart yeah, uh, for the first strategy showing the zero uh, fixed cost and then uh, the slope is 200 and this is the 200 V. And then the second, uh, a strategy where the uh, fixed cost is for thousand. So then the operation, uh, the uh, total cost equal four thousand plus variable cost. So the variable cost in the uh, need twenty ringgit per computer yeah, to assemble the computer need per computer twenty ringgit. So we can draw the second chart showing the second strategy. Yeah, the blue line, and then from this uh, two line, so we have a crossover point. So then we can uh, use this uh, crossover point as a border uh, between the number of computer. Yeah, uh, in this case, we can uh, calculate the crossover point from the equation one and equation two. We can have a twenty-two point twenty-two, or we can say. 22 unit computer. So we can have this is a 22 unit computer. And then let's uh, analyze this. Yeah. So uh, the first uh, possibility, for example, yeah, uh, the number of computer, yeah, the old, uh, purchase order received by the uh, computer shop, for example, this is uh, 20. And then we have a uh, uh, two possibility, the uh, total cost, when we use the first strategy, yeah, here, the total cost, and then the second strategy uh, is uh, more expensive. So in this case, yeah, when we have uh, uh, purchase order 20 computer, so we choose the first strategy, yeah. Well, the first strategy is to uh, ask the sales associate to or build the computer, uh, every uh, order computer. Yeah. 
So uh, in other words, when uh, this, the shop of computer, uh, uh, the ordinary, uh, they generally get the uh, order uh, less than 22. So we, uh, this, uh, the strategy better to uh, ask the sales uh, associate to build the computer. On the other hand, yeah, the first strategy. Yeah. On the other hand, when the, the order, the, the computer order is more than 22, let's say uh, 30, yeah, 30 computer. So uh, the cost will be uh, uh, for the second strategy here, yeah, in this point, and the uh, first strategy is uh, more higher uh, total cost. So uh, therefore, we choose the uh, second strategy when the order of the computer more than 22 computers. So in this case, we uh, uh, the computer shop need to hire technician better. Yeah, uh, then the cost is uh, will be uh, cheaper than the first strategy. Thank you for your attention.